In the not too distant future, next Sunday, AD, there was a guy named Joel, not too different from you or me. He worked at his Monic Institute, just another face in a red jumpsuit. He did a good job cleaning up the place, but his boss didn't like him, so they shot him in the space. Satellite of Love, me and my robots are having a kind of orbiting root beer kegger. Oh, and, uh, uh, you guys, uh, looks like the keg's fried. Oh, bummer! Wow, this is far from industrial, man. Bogus. Listen, you guys, there's a lot you can do even when the keg has run out. Now, uh, we got, like, pin the flames on camera, and we got this camera pinata. Right. There's just a lot of stuff you can Everybody do. Everybody quiet. quiet. I just, I just want, want to say, say that Joel Robinson is one fine human being. Commercial sign now. Enough for you. Mm -hmm. Guts like that one time when Crow, I was out. What? Huh? Crow, lighten what? up. It's, it could be my parents. Oh, sorry, dude. Didn't mean to keep going. Cut it out up there. The satellite of love is not a party machine. I don't know what you folks are doing up there, but if I were you, I'd take the pizza off the ceiling. <laughs> Well, Leah Peebles, our invention exchange this week is a new consumer product. Frank? Hi. My name is TV's Frank, and I am a Stoogeaholic. Hi, TV's Frank. You know, ever since I was a little kid, I was always a big Three Stooges fan, in all their various incarnations, except for Curly Joe DiRiti. You know, he lacks subtlety. But, you know, I could never emulate their exquisite fight choreography. Until now, that is. That's right. That's why we've invented these, the Three Stooges gun. They come in both offensive and defensive. Hey, spinach chin! No, mo, yuck, 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 whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, how I loathe you. Sightingly, whoop, whoop. Joel, Joel, Joel! Joel! <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry, sirs. Oh, well, my invention this week is kind of based on uh, something I invented during the party. You know how I took Tom uh, Servo and turned him into a root beer pony keg here? I thought I could do the same kind of thing with Crow, the robot. I've actually... Crow, would you come over here, please? I'm not coming out. Crow, come on. Oh, Shut up. Exciting. exciting. I'm delicious. What oh, a delicious I feel so ridiculous. I figured oh. I could take Crow, TV's Crow, the lovable, wise, cracking robot, and turn him into a delicious shish kebab. Mm. You know, robots, after all, are made out of metal. Mm. They can withstand great heat. Earlier today, I baked a duplicate crow at 500 degrees. Oh, you look great. What is that do you thing? Oh, it just looks so delicious. And oh. he'll end up looking just like this oh, when he's done. Boy, if food could talk, I wonder what this delicious dish would say. Bite me! What do you think, sirs? Brace yourself, Jeff Smith. I've been waiting all week for the sadistic pleasure I'm going to get when I tell you that the experiment this week... It's Gamera versus Zegra. We know already. That's why we're having this party. It's our last Gamera movie. How did you find out? Who ruined my surprise? Frank, Frank told, told us. Frank! Don't... This may be your last camera film, but there's no guarantee you're going to survive it. Party's over, Frank. Oh no, we got to move inside. Let's get out of here. Is 
sounds like it's Gamma versus Ziegler. Oh, we know. Oh. Yeah. It does sound like the monster sign, though, doesn't it? The monster go home team, yeah. Willie! Hide a moss in the cold, cold ground. Oh, Stephen Foster. Oh, and fool me here. He's at John Sales of Japan. He directed The Return of the Sakaka Seven Samurai. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. I'm rolling. Tonight on Yoase Network, Swamp Thing. Do not bring your evil here. You hear that? A little bassoon sound there. Or I can do that. Oh. <laughs> How rude. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Isn't that fun? I didn't know you had any fleshy parts to do that. Well, I really don't. Oh, what was that? Ah, oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 That burns. Kikuchi, Kikuchi, Kikuchi. Kikuchi, 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 Kikuchi. Hi, look, they got funny Japanese names. These. <laughs> oh! What happened? I don't know, something kind of. Oh! What is huh? that, anyway? Ah! No! Synthetic mosquitoes. Both Zoner sisters in one film? Oh, wow. Beautiful. In color. Since the dawn of time. Man's most cherished dream was to fly oh, to the moon. No, it's going to be and a Mishnah story. in the latter half of the 20th century, that age-old dream suddenly became a reality. Broadway! Inaugurating hey. the extraordinary age of cosmic exploration. I didn't know the moon was made of rich, gooey chocolate. All the great nations of the world cooperated and developed new forms of energy and aircraft in the exciting race for the conquest of space. Oh, and believe me, it's exciting. How can you not think this is exciting? <laughs> <laughs> But that first great leap for mankind Boing. soon became an alarming danger for mankind <gasps> as peaceful scientific discoveries and inventions were turned into terrifying weapons of destruction. Oh, blame it on us. Galaxies invaded our own universe. The invaders in... Oh, oh, Most sorry, terrifying of all was Zegra, a seemingly invincible enemy from a world many light years away, oh, bent on really? plundering and destroying everything in his path. Oh, like Al Sharpton. And enslaving all of mankind. Was that necessary? <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. You can see the glue. <laughs> Models by Eric and Louis Grundon, fourth and fifth grade, Mrs. Johnson's class. Ed Big Daddy Ross. Whoa. Oh no, the stretching bean. You blurred me. Mm -hmm. So much for cosmic exploration. It was a blast. SeaWorld, the International Marine Life Center. Sushi lovers go straight to the source. How's your wife, Tom? What's that supposed to mean? Hospital. Yeah, the new baby's coming in a week or so. Well, I suppose you'd like a boy this time. <laughs> what sure do you mean by that? Change. <laughs> <laughs> Jerk. Henry, I hope we're not spoiling your sister's summer vacation. What about my sister? Not. She's happy to do a little extra work and earn some money. But I'm not sure she can handle Margie and Helen. Hmm, I don't know either. Those daughters of mine are no angels. <laughs> Let's go get some tuna safe dolphin. Hmm? Helen, it's time to wake up. Or you'll be late for school. I'd better take your restraints off. Margie? Wake up! Hurry now! They are Kenny's euthanasia. Nearly ready to go. I don't believe you said that. Oh, well, do as you like. I'm the mischievous one. Kenny, <laughs> stop watching TV and brush your teeth. And do it properly this morning, you hear? No more fish paste and seaweed, please, Mom. Don't you want to have nice, shiny white teeth? The SeaWorld animals do it a lot better than you. Hmm? These Sea World whales were brought here all the way from Canada last year. The little one, Jocko, is ten months old. The other one, Chippy, is a female. Hurry or you're going to be late for school again. Hmm. Oh, look at you. Will you wash that whipped cream off? Even the killer whales rinse their mouths. Killer whale spit take. <laughs> uh, Pete, are his teeth in good condition? Would you take a look? Sure. <laughs> Whales here at SeaWorld. And okay, bite down. Ooh. That's good. Well, you must take good care of your teeth, or the dolphins will make fun of you. And Daddy won't love you. Huh? Margie, 
Helen, John Kennedy. you forgot what something. That? Wait. Your mother's in a hospital in New York. Detox. And you both forgot to kiss her goodbye. Go on, send your mother a big kiss. Uh, so when do you get off work anyway? <laughs> Have a nice rest. We want you to Hey, they're getting hammered. What's going on? Next show at two o'clock this afternoon. Goodbye now. Bye. Good morning, Kenny. Good morning, Good morning, Good morning, Good morning Helen. Helen. Where's your How's hat? It going? Never a dull moment. Oh, good morning. Don't even study in the jungle and have adventures. Just like the Goonies. Now you two be good and do everything the teacher tells you, and you'll be clever little children. As clever as the dolphins. Stop! I hear that all the time from my own parents. If you want me to be like a dolphin, I'll have to learn to swim first. <laughs> you have That's to learn true. to blow air out of the back of your and neck, now too. now for some morning exercises. Jumbo is showing off, standing on his head. Jumbo? While Sabu does a handstand. Now, you mustn't applaud yourself. would rather see how well you play basketball. I heard that you were regular champions. Noro has the ball and is going to try to score a point. Will he succeed? Nice hat. Bravo! How about giving him a hand, ladies and gentlemen? That's Charlie also Sheen, our only Navy lady Seals. Seals. Proving diving isn't just a male sport. Good girl! And now a swimming race. A real Olympic contest. Oh, all the Canadian it's Seals next. are on steroids. Sabu seems to be gaining. No, it's Noro, followed by Sabu and Noko. And Noro wins. So Noro gets the gold medal. Uh, oh, Sabu he gives the Black Power salute and is stripped of his medal. And gets the bronze. And peanuts for the others. Peanuts? Oh, and that's the reward? Getting stuffed? Mm. Do you mean that you have to... to oh. dissect her to find out why she died? That's right. We have to discover what caused her death to protect the other animals. Then it's she goes up on my office wall. Mr. Yamada... We know you treated them exactly like your children, so we understand how you feel. Indifferent? Right. <laughs> Let's begin over here. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Catherine? Hi. Have you seen Helen? She hasn't come back yet. You know, she was playing with Kenny a while ago. Honey, time for a new apron. Oh. Mm -hmm. They left their things here. And they didn't separate their colors. They appear and disappear like magic. They sure do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Heathcliff. Wuthering Heights. Babe Winkleman. Hmm. If things go on like this, the whole coastline will be polluted. Yeah. Nothing can live in this. There won't be a fish left in a few years. Won't be any dolphins. It'll be our own fault. Science always seems to destroy nature instead of doing everything to protect it. It's up to biologists like us to warn the world what's happening around us. Yeah, hey, save right. the message for the end of the movie. We bring you a special you. news announcement. Hmm? A special news announcement. At 9 a.m. today, there was a major earthquake in the Indian Ocean. Hmm. 10,000 people died and hundreds of thousands were injured. The force of the earthquake was one of the greatest ever recorded. Wow. Magnitude 16. I'm going More to the top with a bullet. the one that rocked Peru yesterday. I repeat, today at 9 a.m. there was... One earthquake right after the other. It's awful. Did you hear? A force of magnitude 16 and, and on opposite sides of the earth, too. Hmm. Incredible, isn't it? Very strange. No more than those stretch pants. <laughs> Time for a little snack. Okay. Mm -hmm. Catherine prepared one of her specialties. Lemonade. And I've got your sister's specialty, peanut butter sandwiches. Yeah. Oh, that's supposed to be. You leave my sister out of this. Shut up. Take it back. Take oh, it back, you rotten crummy. <laughs> hey, my jigger I of gin is empty. Wow. Uh, oh. I saw her put them in. Oh. And I saw Catherine fill this. What happened then? Maybe your sister ate hey. Shut up about my sister. Oh. Shut up. Oh. Sorry, oh. sorry. Get a pitchfork. Oh, oh, you best. Oh, you best. I don't feel well. I think I ate too much. Have you got any medicine? I want a Coke, Daddy. Kenny? Kenny? Didn't no. I tell you not to come here without permission? Helen, when we get home, you'll get a nice spanking. Can I have it uh -huh. now? What's that? What's that thing over there? Kenny, now don't try to change the subject. Look! Look at that! In the hmm? sky! See it? Oh. Maybe they have sandwiches. Strange looking. 
It could be an artificial satellite that's fallen. Maybe it's a Perhaps Hojo's. Some kind of space hmm. station. Hmm. Well, whatever it is, we can't afford to show it land. Meanwhile, that Dolly World has sighted an unidentified object. It was first seen off the coast of Kamagawa City. Five miles from Kukamanga. the sea. Latitude 3440 northwest, longitude 140 20 southwest. Henry, portrait of a serial killer. You know, the waters are deep there, and it's the dolphin's favorite spot. Hmm. It'd be tragic if they got hurt. Tom, shall we look? Sure. Oh. But what about the kids? I'll go too. After all, I am the son of a marine life biologist, and I want to go too, Daddy. Okay, okay. Two new collaborators, huh? Yeah. Yeah, cool. maybe they have coke out there, kid. Hey, look, it's Fredo Corleone. <laughs> This is terrific! It's hey, it's great. just a bow. Come on. Hey, look. Dots, jelly beans, Skittles, gummy bears, jujubes. Mmm. Wild. Hey, who roached? M&M's. Melt underwater, not your hand. Yeah, if you get on his good side, but don't cross him. You know what's weird? But even the monster's badly dubbed. Yeah. Monsters can't talk. You'll read too much. Ha! <laughs> He's lapping them. Cool. Hey, who runs the flying saucer? Timothy Leary? <laughs> what? What? I have obeyed your order, Zegra. I have brought the Earth creatures to you. Good work. I am pleased. As punch. Now, awaken them. Pay no attention to the yes, man behind Zegra. the curtain. Creatures of the Earth, wake up! You know, it looks kind of like the Hullabaloo set, uh, except for that monster. Yeah, that looks like a Judy Chicago sculpture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like the crazy Guggenheim Museum. <laughs> mm. Where are we? I know, we're inside a spaceship. Yeah, and she's a space woman. Yeah. I know. You two watch television too much. Say what you the want, Dad, but we're in some deep crap. The situation correctly. Hmm? Earth creatures, welcome to the Zegra Star Spaceship. Zegra oh, Star great Spaceship? <laughs> That's ridiculous. I've never heard that name before. You will hear it very often from now on. Because I repeat things a lot. Sorry, all we have is a master shot for this scene. Yeah, who filmed this? Jim Jaramouche? <laughs> She's hot, Dad. <laughs> when we get back, not a word of this to your mother, kids. We come from a planet located in the Romulus Galaxy. Sector 4. Oh, the Ford this Galaxy. our celestial body number 105. I know. The distance between <laughs> our planet and Earth is 400 light years. 400 light years? I don't believe it. Why, even if you could travel with the speed of light, it would take you 400 years to get here. It's illogical. What is this logical? You forget space is curved. And so am and I. And no doubt your <laughs> earthly vanity prevents you from believing that there are higher forms of civilization than yours. But even so, no one could... Oh, really? Explain how your boat got here. Or did you swim through the fourth dimension? Ooh. You're right. I'm ashamed. Spank me. I told me. you. <laughs> and me. She's a space woman. And she has super celestial powers. Mm -hmm. I knew it too. I bet she can even do magic. Children grasp things much faster than adults. Their innocence makes them see things clearly. Just the same. It's hard to believe. Yes. And what's your purpose in bringing us here? Zigrins have attained the highest culture ever known. Yogurt. And we want you to tell the world about all our great achievements in science. Do you agree to do that for us? 
Now, please take off the Bob Hope hat. All right. Prove to us that you are from the planet Zegra. Show us your scientific skills, and when we're on Earth, we'll report what we've seen. Very well. I knew you would cooperate. <laughs> now, hey. allow me to show you. My anti-cellulite machine. That reminds me, I must get my watch fixed. <laughs> Special effects by Subi Sales. Time for At Home with Pink Lady. All you people of the Earth. All you people of the Earth. All you zombies, hide your faces. I am a representative of the great planet Zegra. Celestial body number 105. I know. Four. I am going to cause an earthquake in Tokyo that you never thought possible. An earthquake of magnitude 18. Greater than the recent earthquakes in Peru and the Indian Ocean. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Furthermore, hey. I'll prove to you the strength of our great science. I shall cause the greatest earthquake the world has ever witnessed. It will destroy everything. All Tokyo will be annihilated in a minute. Wow, she's PMSing big time. Mm -hmm. You, you're crazy. You're out of your mind. Just see what I can do. Hey. And hey, then focus. you will not call me crazy after. Hey, focus! Focus! focus. focus. Hey! The greatest earthquake. Out loud. Magnitude 18, no less. Hmm? Papa, what's magnitude mean? I think it means green. <laughs> It's the force of the earthquake on a certain scale. You see, they calculate the shock waves to the center of the earth. The amplitude is measured in micron units, and the intensity recorded is the magnitude. Understand? Dad, I'm Hello. six! <laughs> the Great Kanto earthquake was only magnitude 11. Oh, the Great Kanto earthquake. Mm. Even the earthquake off San Rico Island was only about magnitude 13 and a half. Which is also the IQ of Sandy Frank. Ooh. No, don't! You mustn't go ahead with it. Stop it, Let's please. Go, it's too late. Oh. No one can stop it any longer. The vibration generator has been started already. There's no point to it. Senseless killing. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me get this straight. This model is going to teach me how Gamera works? Yep. It's going to teach me how he shoots flames out and flies around? Yep. It's going to teach me how he breathes underwater? For, For sure. sure. It's going to teach me how he did gymnastics? Just, Just open, open the, the shell, shell doofus. doofus. Ta-da! Welcome oh. to Gamera, the biggest, friendliest super turtle there ever was. Wow, you guys made this yourself? That's mm -hmm. pretty great. Our tour starts here at the monster's head, down the grand spiral staircase, which leads to the galley where Gamera keeps all his favorite refreshments and cheesy comments. Oh, oh, oh. Just a technical question. When uh, uh, Gamera brings his head in, mm -hmm. what happens to this big uh, cast iron spiral staircase? Oh, that's a special spring steel stairway. It collapses when Gamera pulls his head in. Resuming our tour, stay with the group, Joe. Okay. Below the galley is Kenny's room for when he sleeps over. It's filled with mementos of all the terrific adventures that Gamera and Kenny have had over the years. He also has one of those special little refrigerators filled with ice cold Snickers, Milky Way, and Three Musketeers bars. Oh, well, what's this room down here? Oh, that's apartment 4B where the lonely cat man lives. Below that is the boiler room filled with highly schooled robots or thinking machines that each do the work of 10 men and each make over $100 or credits a day. Wow. What's this over here, though? Oh, that's for your men. Oh. And uh, those little costumes are for when Kenny has half the day off from school. He can come over to Gamera and dress up. There's a rap patrol hat, an official Packer uniform with a helmet, and a word of Federation wrestling belt, and just about a jillion other costumes as well as each as important as the other ones I mentioned and worth over a hundred dollars. Hey. Wow, what about this? It looks kind of like some catacombs or something. Oh, this is the part I came up with. I took the liberty of converting Gamera's intestines into a super cool wine cellar and makeup router. So after Kenny's in bed, Gamera can have a lovely mature woman friend over for some laughs and some love. Well, what's this down here? His pooper or his anus. That's the correct medical oh, word. Uh, <laughs> Joe, uh, it's just a dimensional model of Gamera. You should really just relax. Yeah. What about On our left, you'll notice Gamera's game room. Oh, he's got a jukebox with classic rock 45s, a vintage Madame LaRue pinball game 
times that he's converted so you don't have to use a quarter. Oh, and just a really lot of other great stuff, too, that you'd really love to have, and Jesus lives there. Wow, what about this? Oh, that's the room that allows him to breathe underwater, shoot flames, and do gymnastics. But yeah. whatever you do, don't open that door, Joel. No, 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 no,
Yes, master. And uh, maybe you could dust up here sometime. They know too it. much about us Ooh, and this spaceship yeah. and our it's secret right. plans to conquer the Earth Breath. and make it our colony. You must find them and kill them. You must sink the Bismarck. I have understood, Master. I shall kill them both, and then I'll also destroy the entire population. No, do not kill the people. It would be a very foolish mistake. On Earth, the people live on land and eat the things Our Mrs. Rittenhouse. living in the sea. But it is just the opposite with us. We live in the sea and eat things living on land. It's a switcheroo! At present, the Earth people have large stocks of food on their docks and in their warehouses. I want Mrs. Paul so dead! you see, it would be unwise yes. to Ooh. kill the Eel. Earth creatures. We must conquer them. Let them live so they can become our slaves. Okay. I understand, Master Zegra. Good. So follow the children and, bless and kill the beasts. only those two. Is that clear? Yes. But take all you kill. Well, so now it's a scene from ordinary people. Iwo Jima babies from Jim Hansen. Ah, oh, that's a ship over there. Could we go to it? Mm, I'm afraid not. Hurry, or else we'll get caught again. Oh. African queen babies. <laughs> That's the attack of the Sydney Opera House. Uh oh, here it comes again. Uh. Alvarado's playing tonight. Yes, oh, oh, Kitty, my life flashed before my eyes. Diapers, toilet training, preschool. Daddy, oh, that's it. Daddy, Daddy, Papa, Papa. Where's Papa? Starring Daddy. Ruth Gordon. Uh huh. Japanese kids are kind of gamey anyway. Mm. Yeah, stringy. Oh, I'm turning around. It's coming back. Look, Kenny, up there. <gasps> Gamera! What do you know? Hey, bring it in, Gamera. Oh. Hey, this didn't happen in Jaws. Cool. Yeah! It's a Gene Simmons impression. The actress? Nice tongue, huh? Hey, how do you like the tongue, huh? It's new. Very nice. Gamera, here we are! Hurry! Hurry! Help me, Gamera! How about both of them? Skin looks like jerk chicken. You're in good hands with Gamera. Black. Eyes, teeth, nose, hair. Eyes, fun! I remember this. Hey, he's flying the red eye. Because <laughs> it's. No, not at all. La 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 la. We should have them written down. Camera is really neat. Camera is full of meat. We believe in camera. Take it to the bridge. Spam, 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 spam. Camera, camera. Gamera is full of meat. Gamera is really me. We believe in Gamera. I love Gamera. Love, that's all girls think of. We're talking about a lizard. <laughs> is that so wrong? <laughs> nice landing, buddy. Ah, sorry about the whiplash, kids. <laughs> We better try and get some help. Senorita Gamera, I never understood. What? No tip? Gamera, thank you. I hope to see 
you very soon. Yeah, you're already acting as if Gamera was all yours. This is sick, people. Really sick. I feel empty. What a soulless experience. He toasted our parents. <laughs> Where are we? No one's around. There's nobody lives here. What are we going to do, Kenny? We better go then. No use staying here. Hurry. I could write a sonnet about that, Bonnet. Slag heap babies. In color. Stay off the moors. John the Baptist. Oh. Who are you? What are you doing here? Just slouching towards I got Bethlehem. It. When we left the spaceship, we must have gone into another time period. Can oh. that happen? Yeah, time traveling is what they call it, and you can choose to travel in the past or in the How future and end up in another time. Hmm. What are you mumbling about? <laughs> you seem to be from another world. Yeah, have some honey and locusts. I'm sorry. We were uh -oh. on a spaceship traveling through this galaxy, and then we found ourselves right here. Please forgive us. It's really the spaceship's fault. Maybe he doesn't understand. It's too technical. Oh, are you the ones that were caught by those evil people who came down from the planet Zegra? You already oh. know who told you. I saw the first reel. There was a special news bulletin about it on the radio. the radio. Excuse me, sir. Would you please tell us what year this is? It's the year 1985, of course. I think you two ought to stop dreaming like that and wake up. Otherwise, you might find yourself in another time zone. Your clothes don't look like the clothes people wear in 1985. Why is that? Yeah, well, you're wearing a doll's dress, honey. <laughs> you see, the great warlord Mimamoto came to settle on this island over 800 years ago with all his families and possessions. You've been sniffing the glue, haven't you, Gramps? My noble ancestor Noah helped him to settle on this island, and it's been called Noah Island ever since. And in honor of that great occasion, Lord Mimamoto wore these clothes. And so ever since then, these clothes have been worn by all the descendants of the great Noah. No wonder yeah, they're is stinky. This the island near Kamagawa, where the Marine Life Center is? Mm -hmm. Oh, am I glad of that? <laughs> you boys are stupid, because I knew that all along. <laughs> it's. Can I have a comment, please, from the attack team who's attacked? Hi, thanks for coming. I right, go right in. Yes, yeah, yeah. 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 yes, right here. It's a yes concert. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. yes, I want golden festival seating. It's yes, yes, festival seating, yes, people. Right this way, no shelling. Yes, yes. Now listen, children. Until your fathers regain consciousness, you're the only ones who can tell us about the Zegra spaceship. We'd like you to describe it and answer a few questions. Today, think you I'm can? Geraldo. Yes, I can do that. I can do that too. For a price. What was the spaceship like? The same as the ones we see on television. Television? That's very strange. Don't you ever look at television? I think you're old-fashioned. Now be polite, Kenny. Oh, brat. Tell us about the zebra creatures. They're just like us. They have two hands and feet and speak our language. Our language? But we only saw one zebra woman. Oh, the zebra was a woman. Viva la zebra. Yes, but... My mama is a whole lot prettier. Yes, mine is much prettier than her, too. I oh, know. My no, mine is much prettier. Well, my mom can beat up your okay, mom. Okay, okay. <laughs> Two of you are right. Both of your mamas are very pretty. Oh, what's that supposed to mean? Does the zebra woman have any special ability? Special ability? Mm. What's that? Mm. It's something that, that ordinary people can't do. A special skill. I understand now there are lots of very unusual skills in our house. Daddy always makes noises while he's drinking and strange sounds while eating. Uh, uh, no, save kidding. that for the adult children well, meeting, okay? Getting back to the spaceship, can you tell us more about it? No, nothing much really. They were very unfriendly and not nice to us. They didn't give us anything to eat or anything to drink, not even a Coke. Have what is it with her and the Coke? Hmm. Hmm. Shall we take a here? little break? Yes, please. We have to wait until the two men have recovered consciousness. They're garnishing him with olives. Mm. Are you ready? Yes. Get the gin. Pulse and blood pressure are normal. We'll check the brain waves first. Right. Visiting hours are over, folks. Let's see here. Hmm, Anaconda's down. Bonds are pretty bad. But the Nikkei's holding up. I can't believe it. 
What is it, Doctor? We have the machine that goes ping. It's most unusual. The brain waves are not those of a normal human being. The activity seems to be reduced. Oh, David Duke's brain waves. Yeah. It's hypnotism, Doctor. I saw her do it. She snapped her fingers and then he fell asleep. Yes, it's hypnotism. I saw her too. <laughs> Doctor, these men have to be awakened right away. I realize that. I assure you, Commander, we've tried every means at our disposal. Only with these two here, it's not just a simple case of hypnotism. It's a case of mommy doesn't throat. love me blues. UN headquarters is calling you, Commander. Hmm. Uh, Doctor, it's important. You must find a way to wake these men. Yes, I'm fine. Find a handsome you. prince. Mama. Don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. Papa. 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 Don't oh, Mama. What is this, Yentl all of a sudden? I wish I could really act. Yes, Ronan speaking. I'm the 3rd Defense Army Commander. Oh, the what? great 3rd Army Commander. Very well, sir. We'll take action right away. Plates us, girls! Listen, UN headquarters has decided to attack Zegra at once. Prepare to leave immediately. Get everything ready. Yes, sir. We're asking a kind of dim up here on the satellite of love after what amounts to watching the same movie like six times in your life. So I came up with a little art therapy for the robots so they could maybe feel a little bit better. Okay, you guys. Hey, 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 hey. Do you remember the assignment? Oh, yeah. Okay, make a diorama in a shoebox based on one of the Gamera movies and tell a little bit about it. Okay, who's first? Um, Tom? Do you want to go first? Okay, here's your box. Okay, mine I chose from Gamera versus Baragon. Okay. Okay, be hey, careful. Can you bring with... that in, Camba? Come be on. Be careful with that. It's not dry yet. Okay, do you uh, want to tell us about it? Tell us about it. Okay, here we see the mighty Baragon, his huge hulking mass towering over downtown Tokyo. His terror inducing face locked forever in a hideous death mask. Ooh, razor sharp fangs drip deadly venom and could cut the strongest hemp rope like it was cotton floss. There is no escape from his battering ram tongue as he strips up the denizens of Japan like some horrific nightmare. Roaming cross between an anteater and the devil dog himself. Chained forever in servant to the beast. Master, demonic farmer of the underworld, Lokai, the unspoken one, builds upon uh, Tom, Tom, the Tom, buddy, Tom, Tom, <laughs> buddy, lighten up. It's oh, you like done. the way I used Lego for buildings there? Oh yeah, that's that good, and it looks like you also uh, renewed your subscription to the Stephen, Big, uh, Stephen King Book Club. Okay, How do who's he next? Know? Oh, 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 me, 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 oh, 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 Okay, oh, oh, Crow, oh, oh, we'll do you oh, next. Oh, okay, here's yours. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, all right, my favorite scene, in. and the one that I have rendered in the exciting Plato form, is the monster Gaos. Cool. Uh, Gaos yeah. is very big, and everyone runs away with a flat head. Uh -huh. um, oh, with a flat head that shoots laser beams, shown here simulated with pipe cleaners. Gaos terrorizes the people of Japan. Green gas shoots out from his armpits, and they killed him by keeping him out until the sun came up and he died. Hey, is it okay he used pipe cleaners? You use Lego. Oh, well, I use stupid Look, pipe cleaners. You guys, listen, you both you kind of went outside the perimeters of the, uh, the assignment, but, uh, you know, I think it turned out good. You showed your own individual Siege. creativity. Okay, Siege. now, Gypsy's Siege. next. Siege. Okay, you ready? Siege. Okay, this let's see. Good. Let's put yours up. Okay, bring it in, Cambot. Oh. Are you ready to tell us about it, Gypsy? Okay. Richard Bazar, uh -huh. and the flying sword, right. with David Pettison, right. and the guy who played the chief. Oh, that's great. You did a really good job. That's nice. Okay, well, I want to show you my favorite scene of the whole series of Gamera. The surprise is it Grab Chips? No. What is it? What is it? Is Bring it, it a puppy? In. No, it's not a puppy. It's all of us together, a family. Oh, oh no! Come in. Come How in, sir. fun. Come <laughs> in, sir. A moment. Hello, is this the party to whom I am speaking? Excuse me, sir. It seems the whole squadron has been wiped out. Neat. Is there any way to stop Zegra? That's not the weakness. Bomb them. Drop more depth charges. Oh, build a bridge out of them. First, first mm -hmm. think of the people's safety. Sergeant, order all the people to be evacuated at once. All yes, at once? Ooh. Hey, I think I see Charlton Heston. You did it! You finally did it! Good. Huzzah. Wow. 
You must find those two children. What is he on I about that? I want you to catch them and kill them immediately. <laughs> yes, Degra. Do I get a per diem when I'm on Earth? Oops. Wait, I can't run so fast. We have no time to lose. We must hurry. We were given orders to evacuate at once. I can't walk so fast. Gidget gets evacuated. Ooh. Where are we going? Ah. <gasps> hey, did you get that at Betsy Johnson's? <laughs> I love doing that. Sex appeal. <laughs> the maiden form woman. You never know where she'll show up. I had this dream once. I thought I'd blend in with this costume. <laughs> uh huh. Not very good. That's not much of a catch today. Yes, they're all scared of the monster, so no one went out to fish. That's all we got. I'll buy them all. Just a minute. Whoa, whoa. They were reserved for me. Jimmy Shirt oh, Round. So. Listen here, you. You may think running a hotel makes you a big shot. Hey. Only I don't think so. And I tell you all that fish is reserved for me. So you can just go jump in a lake for Again with a finger. Oh, really? You want the fish to feed your dolphins, whereas I need fish to feed people. Hmm. And there's a great difference. Oh, yeah? Everyone is to evacuate immediately. Well, I just well, did. Who's going to buy the fish? Me. me. All right. Immediately. You two decided to pay me later. Hey, Estelle Getty wants her hat well, back. You heard. You better get going. You crazy? The animals at SeaWorld are hungry, and they're waiting for me to come and feed them. So I'm taking that fish. If you know what's good for you, you'd better get going yourself. <laughs> Not joking. I have to feed our guests, and I need that fish. What? Your guest evacuated this hours ago. You said so yourself. Hours ago. It's true. And most of the other hotels are empty. Only what does this have to do with anything? I was about you know, to ask the same question. Running bus. a hotel is just like running a ship, and you don't desert it. <laughs> Ooh, what a bird. <laughs> What's the point of staying in the hotel if all your guests have gone away? I get the volcano room to myself. All right, I'll come and see. Only you'll be sorry if this is some kind of trick. Ooh. Hey, the hot El Tokyo. <laughs> And now the brilliant fish buying sequence shall continue. You see that soldier there? It's because I didn't run away that those soldiers are here. Our hotel was invaded by all sorts of soldiers and dozens of reporters. And as long as one person remains, it's my duty to stay on right here. And that's why I've got to have the fish. Got it, brother? Nothing doing. No I one will be seated during the reports. famous fish argument. All I care about arguments. is my seals and my dolphins. It's nothing else. So I'm keeping the fish. You got it, brother? Will Wayne Newton keep the fish? Stay tuned. I'm a very stubborn man. <laughs> <laughs> but he's even more so. <laughs> yeah, big shot. Just who does he think he is? A hotel manager indeed. I showed him. Joel, uh -huh. why do you suppose they had the sudden catering subplot? Uh, the Japanese love the food industry. They often use it. Where yeah. are you going? Who cares? Everyone was told to evacuate. Are you from SeaWorld? Yeah. I have to go there. I want to get to the Marine Life Center. I have to see two little children. Uh, children? You mean Kenny and Helen? That's right. What a coincidence. <laughs> sure. Fish okay. Argument Theater will be back. But first, a scene from Plot Convenience Playhouse. You know, uh, I don't believe I've seen you around here before. At least not this much I of you. Yesterday. <laughs> Are you an actress? Yes, but I really want to direct. Pilot. <gasps> uh. Stay on the road. Stay. Is there a closer spot? Here we are. The children live in this building. You can't miss them. Thanks. You're uh, would a you like to gentleman. grab a, a, bite, a bite to eat sometime? I've got lots of fish. <laughs> Nipple. Hey. Come on, face, turn, eyes, whoop. <laughs> Clothes. That's what I need. Clothes. Ah, you're dressed sensibly. Oh, that's what she's using her winky blinky everyone for. Everyone is to evacuate immediately. I repeat, everyone is to evacuate immediately. <laughs> Two more laps. <laughs> Say, sister, that dress is headed for trouble and it's taken you with it. Everyone
Everyone is to evacuate immediately. Where are you going? I repeat. Watch out. Is to She's got ultra bright eyes. Ooh. Works every time. I get more clothes this way. Like G.I. Joe. I've always admired people who can sleep anywhere. I no, wish I could. Yeah, I know what you mean. We have received reports from all parts of the world. No fighter bombers, battleships, or missiles are left. Most areas are completely defenseless. Food and water are in short supply. It's a very critical situation. Our weapons are no match for Zegra. Has the UN uh, considered using the H-bomb? Shut up, Dad. Sit down. But they reached the conclusion it was too dangerous. It could kill our own people, too. That's incredible. You mean we have no strategy in case of attack? Sorry. Nope. We're doing all we can. This enemy seems almost invincible. I'm good. I'm Sergeant, really wake good. Up. Huh? Ooh. Come on. Wake up. Boy, that's fun. What's the matter? Somebody get me a gun. I'm going to shoot this coward. Hmm? Commander, he seems to be in a, in a trance. He, he walks if someone leads him around, only he shows no reactions whatsoever. We he cure him, but like we need the eggs. Hmm. Same symptoms as the other two men. Take him over to the clinic. Right. Commander. I saw what you did there, man. It was really wild. I was there. I thought all it was cool, dude. Hey, Attica, I mean that, man. Troops? No, absolutely not. you news of the latest developments in the present crisis. An earthquake of magnitude 13 has just turned the city into a sea of flames. Even the radio tower is a tangle of... Mm, I'm bored. Switch it over to Care Bears. Oh, Gamera! Oh, it's Gamera! Gamera hey, where's come. the CNN graphics? Air, you know, Zegra crisis. <laughs> Liquid metal. It becomes too dangerous here. Mm. Zegra mm. has destroyed mm. thousands of homes mm. and children mm. in the valley. Mm. But we must hold out against this barbaric monster. No, we're not going to get into that monster. Oh no. There is a, look, she can take over the world, but she can't sneak up on these pesky kids. Oh, yeah. Look, travel through the fourth dimension, no problem. But stuffed animals, look out. Come back here. Great music, huh? Don't be afraid. Sounds like it's from any Don Knotts film. Yeah. I won't hurt you. Wow. <laughs> I love that. Wait, I won't hurt you. This way. Just enough time to go into confessional. <laughs> Father, forgive me for I have. Uh... Thank you. Uh, no waiting on telescope four. Go ahead, four. You know, actually, I think this is the soundtrack from Chevy Van. Hey, did I just get faced? Mm -hmm. I see London. I see. Oh, I do too. I see heavens. <laughs> Come here, I just want to talk Please to you. Please clean our tank. <laughs> There's Tom Arnold's old okay, ass. Okay, sorry. A lot of seating there. Yeah. Wait. Well, they do get an overflow crowd at that tuna tank, you know. I won't hurt seating. you. Wait for me. Stop <laughs> hey, look. Buddy Hackett's token up. You know that girl. Of course you know her. That's Laura Lee Barra. Hmm. But everyone knew her as Nancy. <laughs> Laura Lee! Laura Lee! Laura Lee! Wait! Laura Lee, let's live together! Oh. May I have your attention, please? You know, these Claire Prophet seminars are all alike. Yeah, that's for sure. Wild! Wild Rebels! Naughty, girly rebels. Hey, if she goes up there, we can see up her skirt again. Sick. Oh, sorry. Please, don't make... Huh? Okay, the switch. Hey, you kids, we're not air conditioning the outside. In or out? Come on. Set yeah. on Crane and drums. Yay! Yeah. We rule! Yeah. Oh, now she's going to Knott's Berry Farm. Don Knott's Elaine! 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 Rats, now what? Thank 
goodness, a new secret. Candy pants. I'm exhausted. My legs won't go any further. It's a crisp, coat of color world they live in, isn't it? Gamera, I wish he would get here soon. Mm -hmm. He's the only one strong enough to beat her. This Gamera can lick anyone. Where is he? I want a Coke. Gamera! Help us, Gamera! Yeah. Okay, okay, you've been writing me the whole film. Did he ever invite me over for dinner? No, but when they're in trouble, it's Gamera this and Gamera. I think the brain of a clown runs this ship. Hmm. Strike. Looks like something a Shriner would wear when he's drunk. What do you mean all the time? Oh. <laughs> Let's see, two blocks past Davy Jones' locker, take a right. Oh, it looks like an electric bowl of trick cereal. It's tediously delicious. <laughs> Wait a minute. It's hard to get a sense of scale here. Is that really big yeah. or really small? I, I can't tell. So, okay, listen to this one. I says to the man, I says, all right, now this is great. No camera. That is the grandest hat of all, hands down. Absolutely. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Enjoy! <laughs> oh, that's great. Gamera's going to play stadium checkers. He's got a hat mad at him. Yep. Nah, 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 can't catch me, stupid old hat. <laughs> Raspberry red? Hey, nobody said we were playing tackle. That's not fair. <laughs> I hate you, I hate you, you stupid old candy dish. Just checking the whole structure here. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. It's pretty neat. He could hire out as a waffle iron. Why would you need to iron your waffles? Miss me, miss me. Now you gotta kiss me. Sisyphus, I presume. Ooh, squirting a little KC masterpiece on there. Ah. Yep, hell. Hell is for children. Mm. Wow, how does he do that underwater? Is he packing us to settle? Oh, suspension of disbelief or not. <laughs> I don't get it. You know, uh, these films are weird. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't yeah. get it at all. Terrific, he's fighting. He's fighting Captain Nemo. Huh? <laughs> I mean Captain Nemo. Uh, or Leonard Nemo. I was just Nemo thinking anymore. I'd be a fish. Yeah, look. Z Griffith, the Battle of Gamera. Gamera, Gamera. <laughs> Z Griffith, the Battle of Gamera. He's going to turn into butter pretty soon. Uh-huh. Hey, scratch my neck. Come on. You know, they grow so fast when they get to that age. Kind of looks like a coelacanth, don't you think? Mm. Or don't you? Hey, hey, even I don't believe that. Come on, back up a few frames. And so what? He's bigger. He's still stupid. Hey, make a great can opener. Look at that beak. You look at it. I'm better. Oh, he's got a cat's eye and a bird's beak. Hmm. How often can he use this shot of me? Cut away! There. Hey, can you lend me a fin? <laughs> How about a couple of clams? <laughs> I just said that for the hell of it. I want you to get these pool toys out of the living room. Ooh, oh, don't bite them. It'll make your feelings buzz. Uh, forget catch and release, man. This is a wall hanger for sure here. 
Oh no, I left my windows open. Hey, it's Handel's out of water music. What do you know? Look, camera's gonna jet ski. He's skiing go go. Ooh, Again? Warning. Wow. Don't you worry. No matter what, He's whatever mighty happens, jerk. I'll never leave you. You can count on that. Not in a million a years. Ooh. Help! Help! Huh? The fish help, are screaming. Oh, no, no, no. It's Wait for me. Stop running. I won't hurt you. That's the Lucille Ball of Japan. Ricky. You heard that announcement. I believe Everyone we ought to transport them to a safe place either. right away. There's a hospital at SeaWorld? Oh, yes, sir. So. Careful. Careful. Snap. Ooh. Uh, no, Marco, we don't need any more dead fish in the emergency room. But they're yeah. sturgeons. Oh, Catherine. Yes. I see you're having a, a guide evacuate the two children. A guide? They run away and they're not easy to catch. No, I I didn't ask any guide to look after the children. They can I evacuate don't. themselves now. They're old enough. Well, that's funny. Oh, what doctor, makes you... Have they regained consciousness? No, unfortunately. That's <laughs> very strange. They don't look like they can see anything. But they can walk around without bumping into anything. Just like Grandpa. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you think maybe the... The what? I uh, think you should call Oliver Sex. Uh -huh. Sergeant, go with him. Right. What a loon. Excuse me, would you She's let the dog talking to the TV. Ah. I am not a scientist. But well, I play one on TV. Things, but this dolphin is blind, yet it never seems to bump into a wall. I always thought it was very strange. <laughs> Is it possible that dolphins have some kind of instinct, uh, a sort of sixth sense? If I may. A dolphin is endowed with a very special faculty. It sends out a supersonic signal that is continually bouncing between itself and an object. Yeah, so we like to call it sonar. The wall. Next, on the scope. Same as the sonar device they have on submarines. Yes, that's right. It's Dr. Dull is back. For a long period cause a certain physiological conditions. It could affect the human brain. The human brain? Then maybe that's what happened to these two. Could their brains be working like those dolphins' brains? Could they be guided yes, by ancient astronauts? Yes. Zegra is a creature from an aquatic world, so it sent out a supersonic signal in order oh, to... Oh, everything's supersonic with, with you. I don't know. I know a method that will cure them. Here, here uh, lend me your transceiver. Lend me a tenor. Ah! Uh, no, I said tenor. Uh, 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 Ah, ah, okay, it works. So they don't like Yoko Ono. So what's the point? <laughs> ah, 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 Daddy, you're embarrassing me. The Henry, Papa, you're conscious. And yet you're still drooling. Why are we here. What happened to me? Don't worry, Papa. Are you all right? No, whoa, Chad, uh, well, how much money did we raise? Uh, you know, the kids. Right. The transceiver waves made them normal again, and we owe the idea to our good dolphin trainer. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor, don't forget, we owe it to the dolphins, too. All the reporters have been hypnotized now as well. Mount Rushmore. No. no. Oh. Zegra. It's that Zegra creature. What? Go. No, For this afternoon's right. show, we'll drown two school children. If you come closer, I'll beat them to the dolphins. Now you come on. Hey, I got dibs on the floor. Hey, throw them in here. Hey, no, 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 no. Push them over the side. Hey, you know, our plan wasn't really that good. No. Then they'll die. You let those kids go. You let those kids go. You're coming with me. Ah. No, no. Fire. Fire. Porn on the radio, I don't think it's going to work. Come on, Helen, let's run. Hey, Twyla Tharp. She's dancing go go. Mama, Mama. Mama, Henry. Ooh, sis takes one in the face. <laughs> Quickly, everybody stand around her. Ah! Ah! Stay away from those powerful hind Where legs, boys. I? Why am I here? How did I get here? My God, what have How did I done? I, get here? I was just on the moon. Oh, you're going to the moon, Alice. On the moon? Yes. My name is Laura Lee Warren. From Gentlemen Prefer Blondes? I was working at a moon base. 
I was riding on a moon jeep. I was eating a moon pie. Room. I had just then mooned a passing there moon was a jeep. Mysterious ray, and I got very I'm dizzy and couldn't by. move. Then I lost consciousness. And then I was color separated. Oh. And then I woke up here. Yeah. But I don't remember anything else. Hey, you're just like Patty Hearst, aren't you, dear? I understand now. The ray made you that monster's captive. You lost your willpower, and Zegra forced you to carry out his evil schemes. Oh, and uh, you're married to me. Oh, uh, yeah, that was the other thing. Is there <coughs> anything you can tell us about Zegra's weaknesses? Where is he vulnerable? Well, he likes no, to bet on the dogs. I don't remember anything at all. Where I was or what I did. Is there no way he can be defeated? Nope. We can't just let him conquer us. There are limits to what we humans can do. Oh, come on. Everyone pick up the radios and say, ah! I know what to do. Uh -huh. I think we should ask Gamera to save us. Gamera Great. is clever. He can do things that no one else can. Another preschooler saves Japan. Can he? You're brilliant. Now. Take a kiss out of petty cash. Gamera is powerless. He's lying upside down in the sea now. He's mm. in the sea, but he's not dead, is he? Oh, zing! She zoomed me. What do you know? Commander, I know that it sounds unlikely, but, but I Gamera love you. may still be alive down there. Yes, I think we should find out. Gamera is oh, like only Earl Anthony, doesn't he? Earth from destruction. Is there any way to see if Gamera is still alive? Yeah, yes, just a little message on his machine. We're very well equipped here. We've even got the latest diving bathyscope, Commander. Mm. Give us your authorization, and we'll go look for Gamera. <laughs> we might even look for Emilio while we're down there. Very well. Get going. Our puppets are really clever, aren't they? Yeah. Your puppets? <laughs> <laughs> well, wait a minute. Here come the flying crest tubes. Crest. 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 Hmm. Well, if you look at that rock just right, it looks like Gamera's foot. Mm -hmm. Foot rock. Mm -hmm. Oh, I bet it is Gamera's foot. That terrapin is stationary. Oh. You know, TV repair is really my game, but thanks for bringing me down with you. Well, look at that. They got a bass finder on the dash. Fast finder. I love his films. Bass, bass finder. finder. Oh. And it's fast. Add this scope here. Come in, chopper. Chopper here. Over. Come in a little closer. About 30 feet. Roger. Hmm. Getting a picture. Yep, that's Gamera, all right. Well, and he's got a nasty case of gingivitis. Okay. Now cough. Uh, remember the bowl cut? The camera mm. seems to be dead. <laughs> we'll try the sonar to see if his brain waves are functioning. Ah. Roger. Mm. Tom, turn on the sonar. Well, the sonar, okay. the better. Ooh. <laughs> What's that? No, no, that's the machine that goes ping. Turn on the sonar. I'm quite sure. Gamera was hit by a ray, and it was the same sort of ray that was used on me. And if the sonar Fernando worked, ray? Gamera will regain ray? consciousness. Ray Davis? Mm, yes, I think Faye she's ray? right. Mm. Hey, it's okay to like the hot chick again. She's on our side. Bottom of the seventh. Two out. Ryan blows a past Conseco. You know, true value hardware stores are... Microwave fish sticks are done. <gasps> what? Oh, it's those meddling kids. Hey, you kids aren't young enough to be Daddy, in here. What is that sound? Huh? I can't stand it. What are you doing here? How did you brats get in here? Huh? I'm sorry, Commander. Hmm? Our two kids sneaked on board oh. the bathroom. Oh, look, he's we got three more daughters. Things, so we'll take them along with us. We've no other choice. Yeah. He's a real scientist, Jimmy. that one. How sweet. Mom, How charming. Helen's down there. Now get off there. Come on. You want to wipe the lens way. off now? Stay there. Would he be a pointy-headed liberal? <laughs> Ooh. Get some visine. Get the red out. What's this here, Daddy? Stop bothering us, Kenny. Come on. Don't be a nuisance. Helen. Hi. You I'm your time life here? operator. Not much progress. Gamera has not responded yet. We're going to intensify the sound. Huh? Hey, let's okay. let the water in. <laughs> well, at least the dad's wearing a turtleneck. That's Papa, good. Zegra's there! Huh? 
Leviathan. They all die in a yellow bathosphere. <laughs> Uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Come in, Bathyscope. Come in, Bathyscope. Always What's when happening? I'm in the Bathyscope. Oh. Tom, here. Okay. Uh, fine, uh, fine. Everything's fine, except for that part that here. isn't. Uh, We've been uh, hit. Oh, they've been hit. Bathyscope's leaking. We're gonna it's have the sun kissed orange from the bottom of the worry. sea. We'll be all right. From what the bottom of the ocean. Whoa, 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 whoa. Turn it on. Uh, okay. It's a good thing I converted Tom's servo into this pony keg. Now we're going to have enough delicious dad's root beer for the game tomorrow. Yeah, you know it. Oh, oh, I see. That reminds me. Uh, Tom, you're yeah. supposed to have your picks in before the game start. Oh. You can't turn them in Monday morning and try to say you went 14 and 1 on Sunday. Oh, yeah, well, look who's talking. I mean, I can't believe you picked the Vikings again. They what? almost never win on natural grass. Now the Packers back in 68. Now there was a key. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. But for Vince Lombardi and the Green Bay Packers, there would be another day. Okay. Hey, well, okay. Come hey. on, no, Fuzzy Thurston was a saint. Can I pour you one, buddy? Yeah, sure, pour Ooh, me one. Yeah, hey, yeah. tilt that back, tilt that back. Hey, 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 come on, where'd you learn how to pour? <laughs> you know what they say, guys, you don't buy root beer, you rent it. Oh, 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 oh. Quick, give me rocket number nine, Bronto. <laughs> Wow, it's Kenny and Helen from the movie. It looks like they're riding on the back of camera. What a rush. Man, this is a party. Hey, how are you two doing? I'm feeling really good. Well, we're feeling really good too, Kenny. This is quite a surprise. You know, there's one thing I've always wanted to ask you. How come you little kids are always the ones with all the answers, hmm? Camera is good. Camera is friend of children. What? We fill up on fish. Well, yeah, but what if... It's fun. I'm feeling really good. Well, Joe, this is embarrassing. Are these more child actors gone bad? Yeah, what's the problem, you two? Aren't you both around 30 by now? Aren't you a little old to be hanging around Gamera? <laughs> Gamera is my boyfriend. Uh -huh. Daddy, I want a Coke. Gamera's dancing go-go. Ooh. Ooh. Well, geez, we better... Get back to our party or something. <laughs> yes. uh, unless anybody's got something no, they no, want to no, say. No, no. We love you, corn job. I'm feeling really good. Uh, corn job, that must be you, Joel. And speaking of corn, back after this. Wow. Ah! Oh, that was ah! weird. Here. They learned that move oh, on Star it. Trek. Right. I'll fix this. <laughs> The British team has the ball. Hmm? Right there. <laughs> I'm hungry for a little Japanese. <laughs> ah, that's Zegra! You know, it's starting to lose some of its credibility. Oh, I was thinking that, as a matter of fact. Don't be afraid. We'll be all right. Tom, how's the depth gauge? Is it working? Ready pretty soon. Any second. Now, you hold on and be quiet. Don't okay, hold. kids, you know Just the drill. Into this tube. Ooh. Eight thousand. Bottles of sake in the wall. 9,000. Bottles of sake in the wall. 10,000. Bottles right of sake. At the bottom of the ocean. The bottom of the ocean. Not anymore. Okay. Sorry, Hurry kids. Up. No biffy here. Okay. Here. Hold on to me. Ow! Ow! Hey, you bit me. Oops. Dr. Henry, Mr. Wallace. Dr. Howard, Dr. Hey, Fine, hey, Dr. Dr. Hey, Howard. Come in. Come in. You see us? Ooh. Yes, we see you fine. Bathoscope here. Does this bug you? Bathoscope Does this here. bug you? Come in, please. We hear you. Come in. Bathoscope here. Can you hear us? Uh -huh. Yes, we hear you. Can you hear us, Commander? What is this, Abbott and Costello? Oh, yes. Are you fine? Are you all right? We're all right. Not feeling too good myself. Everyone's okay, considering. And the bathoscope is still holding on. Our depth is 1,200. We're really worried about the water pressure. How's the surfacing apparatus? Oh, fine. And you? It's not working yet. We're checking it out, but that was really a bad tumble. Daddy, hmm. what do we do if we can't get up? Come on, you're the preschooler. You're supposed to know everything. How much oxygen is left? Um, none. For one hour. Commander, she's leaking pretty badly now. 
So am I. I need a stronger you waistband. Oh, uh, much longer. Hey, I'm a general. Let go. Archie! Archie! Archie, help me! Archie? Save us! Hey, you kids, shut up back there. Don't, Don't make worry. me come back. Don't worry. We'll get out of here. Not. Helen! Papa! Don't worry, Margie. On wheels. Do you think they can be saved in an hour? Oh, why don't you ask I one of the kids? Know. They seem Not to know everything. Not nuclear mm -hmm. submarine could make a dive of over 12,000 meters. You know, I think that... I think that there's a bathyscope along the French coast. Hmm. Only... I'm not sure it can be brought here in an hour. Hey, let's go there. It'd be it a nice like vacation. <gasps> no! Are you just going to stay here and let them all die? Yep. <laughs> Pretty much. Yep. <laughs> Don't worry. It's okay. We'll fix the surfacing apparatus. We're not losing hope, and don't you either. You'll make it. He's dead. He's toast. You'll be fine, Bob. You're never going to get out of there. Our father in the bathosphere. Okay, who forgot to jiggle the handle? Him. Okay. I'll we can it. get HBO now. I think Beastmaster's on. All right. Oh, yeah. Um, I think they should be doing this while standing in water. Well, the jets are working. <laughs> jets? Whoops. Oh, uh, should have turned down the VCR and the microwave at the same time. <laughs> what did I tell you? Commander, the surfacing apparatus has hey, been severely damaged. What What's the, the oh. matter? What happened? <laughs> Mr. Wallace. Please answer. What's the matter? This really bites. Huh? A light! A light! My kingdom for a, a light. light! A light! Okay. Seagrass blinded by the light! Cut loose like a deuce, another runner in the night! The light. Yes! It's light. light! Listen, we just discovered Zegra's weakness. Hmm. Zegra is a creature that lives under the water, a deep sea monster. So? Gamera knew that Zegra is afraid of the light. So? Gamera pulled it up into the light. He found its weakness instinctively. You can't oh. teach instincts you like that. Mm. Earth, listen to me. I want a cracker, a big you one. Surrender to me at once. It is very easy for me to destroy the bathyscope. Let's not be built Ford tough. But if you surrender within an hour, I promise you, I will see. It would be like surrendering the well, kukla. Yeah. I'm in his mouth. If you do not surrender... I will destroy the bathyscope, and your friends inside will die. Well, that kind of follows, my doesn't last it? warning. I am losing my patience. Zegra is your master now. Hey, you're a you fish. Will obey me from now on. They're watching TNT, one to of our remember. favorite networks. Zegra is a... Zegra is a deep sea monster, uh -huh. and he loves to feed on human beings. Yeah, we figured oh, that out. Thanks. And after much. we surrender to Zegra, he'll imprison us in cages like animals and keep us all for his food. <gasps> there. How's your supply of oxygen? Enough for about 50 minutes. Oh, 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 wait, wait, I found some more oxygen in a drawer. We're okay. We'll surrender to Zegra at once. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. Yeah. Wait a minute. There's more. Bathyscope, you hear me? We're not going to let you die. Sergeant, call you in headquarters. Right. This is a pickle, George. This is Zegra. a pickle. Zegra, do you hear me? No. I admit, you're more powerful and advanced in science than we are. Go on, I'm listening. We cannot defeat you. Our weapons are too weak. Now tell me we I'm pretty. Only one thing. The bathyscope is to be saved. We surrender to you at once. Say you please. Have Very well. And give someone else a turn in there. You know, he's got Lillian Hellman eyes. He does. We're saved now. Have you been saved? At night, Papa? Yeah, yeah. Uh-oh. No, even if you surrender, mankind will become its food. You mustn't trust Zegra. Dr. Henry, listen. You are an authority on marine life, the greatest. I know well, I do my best, Zegra's over. main characteristic. If you remember that, you have a great weapon. It's your I only know. chance to escape, Zegra. It's your only chance, so you must try it. Hmm. Zegra's main characteristic? Of course. He's French. He's Good not work. French, he's oh, Belgian. Oh, that's and this time, stay there. Up you go. And don't move. 
Okay, now. Go on. Go. Oh, that. Oh. Raise the voltage. Oh, hey. Right. Damn it, darn it. You got your high beams on, dude. Wow. It's working. I now we can it. project movies on him. Spotlight dance on Zebra. Full reverse. Full hey. reverse. Yes. This is Counter Defense Headquarters. Come in. It is, is counterproductive here. Please answer. Dr. Henry. Mr. Wallace, please answer. Please answer. I'm trying. Please answer. I'm trying. Please answer. I'm shut up. Dr. Henry. Mr. Wallace. Come in. Come in. Answer, please. Answer, please. Answer. Henry. Papa. Helen. Papa. Go for the door and answer in the form of a I'm question. Sorry. All this is entirely my fault. I shouldn't have given that message. She's right, it's her fault. Let's get her. I'll be eaten by Zegra sooner or later. <laughs> hey, this isn't really that sad. Oh, you're right. Penitentiary 3. It was a dark and stormy night. Whoa, camera, you're on the air. Oh my gosh, I, I overslept. I'm gonna miss the bus. Oops. Hey. Hawaii 5. Oh? Oh. Oh, Moondoggy. Let's get married, Frankie. I know it's almost over. Just hang in there, folks. Come on. You see? Itching, flaking. I think it's dandruff. Why am I alone with my dog star? <gasps> Gamera is gone! Oh, oh. Garson's got him! Do you think Gamera will try to save the bathoscope? Even if he does try, the oxygen supply on the bathoscope must have given out over eight hours ago. Yep. Mommy, make that guy stop looking at me! He <laughs> died of suffocation. Did I get that right? They died on vacation? Hmm. Ah, who cares? Come on. Stay back. Don't get too close. Look, I'm not going to get this out of the gutter every time you kids throw it up there, okay? Now don't call me unless you really need me. Bye. All right. Let's get them. Okay, uh, did we miss something? Uh, uh, is this underwater? I think. Get the stretcher. Gently, gently. Looks like a big porta potty. Yeah. All we right, did miss come something. On. Henry, Henry! Papa, Papa! Is there an echo? echo? Put them down over here. Put them down? Okay, they're ugly! <laughs> How'd I do? Kenny, Helen, George, Kenny, Heathcliff, Helen. McLeod! Did they die of suffocation? They're dead, but not by suffocation. Oh, that's a really that's very huh? strange. I think I know. The ray stopped cellular activity. So now all the cells are dormant. Then, then they're not dead. No, but, but they might as well be. There's a very good hope of reviving then. <sighs> Zegra was angered by what Laura Lee said, so it sent out its ray, huh. which suspended organic activity. And that's the reason they're not dead. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm. exactly. So it's a man ray. Because if they'd suffocated from lack of oxygen, there wouldn't be any way of reviving them. So they're thank only you, mostly Laura dead. Lee. No, mostly. don't thank me yet. Thank me after they recover. <gasps> Doctor, how will you treat them? Incompetently. With electric shocks. Gamera, don't forget, was also revived by a series of lightning shocks. That's true. Sergeant, sir, make preparations to revive them. Right. And get those cattle prods out of my trunk. Oh, I dreamed I ate Robert Shaw. And I got drunk. Go figure. You know, I feel a monster fight coming on. I can't yeah. tell why, but I just do. All right, look at him. He looks like a stealth sturgeon. 
to break up. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm keeping all your albums. Is this your copy of Catcher in the Rye? Come on, give it back to me. Come on. Not keep it. What do I care? Plenty of room. Come on. Bring it in. Come on. Ooh. Dishwashing liquid. Camera soaking in it. Nice lines on that monster, though. All right, look at this one. How about that? Can you do that? You know, Gamera's never seen the moil. Ah, it shows. Mm -hmm. Gentile. <laughs> uh, look, he's in a stand-up suit now. Uh, no, I just had my teeth x-rayed. Come on. Ooh. <laughs> he had jalapenos for lunch. I guess so. Oops. Whoa, he can't take it there. He can't take it there. Oops. Ouch. Zoro, the gay blade. Hey, camera's got stigmata. <laughs> oh, I hope he's not playing hangman. We could be here a while. Tic-tac-toe. Oops, not the sofa, brain to my you know. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Not again. Uh. Oh, look, he's protecting himself with a zesty tartar sauce. Ooh. Yuck. Uh-oh. Pretty exciting, now. Species, species dating is not allowed. Listen, if I die, I'm taking you with me. Need. Helen, 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 wake up! No, are you kidding me? I was out of the film. Don't wake me up. Mm. I want a Coke. Oh. Can I have a Coke? Oh, oh you call it uh, so predictable. Right away. No Coke. Pepsi. You're all right now. Sounds like an Orange Crush song. Hey, he's getting a nosebleed. Ooh, like a big lawn dart. Yeah, that should take care of him. What? Now wait just hey, a minute. Oh, That's um, not. Oh. How did he do it? Don't believe this. This film's getting a little implausible. Well, there's the Howard Johnsons. Uh -huh. Oh, that, oh, that's Gamera over you there. You know, I don't even care anymore who's killing who. No. Oh, 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 that's funny. That's rich. I love physical humor. Hey, I don't find this funny. I got a meatball on my nose for crying out loud. Does Gamera find this funny? Does he find it amusing? Is he some sort of clown? I guess so. Oh, now she wants the Terminator-sized cup of Coke. I'm not done yet. Come here, you. Well, it looks like tonight the fish is sleep with Luca Brazzi. Hey, get this. I got a turkey leg from the Red Fest. Huzzah! Huh? No. Oh, please say this is not happening. Camera, known as Bags to his friends. NBC. Rip Taylor on vibes. Get this hey. tune. Play yep. whipping pose. Woo! Hey, he's doing a strip. He's gonna oh, take his show off. Crack me up. Bust a move, camera. Yeah, he's got some go-go. Mammy, mammy. 
Oh. I kill me. I'm the only relief I get. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Did he just flame those kids? I hope so. Yeah, I think so. Now, why couldn't he have done this in the first place? Did he forget he could do this? It saved a little time. Watch out for the backdraft, guys. Doesn't backdraft. he know that open flame like that's illegal? The horror. The horror. Ordinarily, this would end the movie, but... What? This is a Sandy Frank film. Burn my eyelash. Somebody uh, check the grill. The fish is done. <laughs> it's blackened, you see. Mm. Okay, we get the point. Say. Now are you happy? Next time, don't call me. I'm supposed to be laying eggs this time of year. I am kidding. Dad, can we let him crush us? Ooh. Ah, we're hideously burned, Scar. Kenny, look at this. Someone gods must be crazy, Timmy. You know, Kenny, the seas and the oceans are among the most precious possessions that we have on Earth. Wait a minute, she doesn't have a coat. She's got a rolling rock there. Threaten huh? man's very existence. Our water is sacred. Gamera taught us that lesson. If the oceans die, then mankind will die. So we have to protect them. Boy, Gamera burns yeah, a lot right of hydrocarbons there. under the ocean. Gamera, thank you! Thank you, Gamera! Gamera, please Goodbye, I don't think you should have a paunch when you're six. Nope. Gamera! Gamera! Let's just get it over with. Let's just get it over with. Let's just get it over with. Curse the day Sandy Frank was born. I was winging it there. Spam, spam. Guests of Gamera stay at the Gamera and fly Gamera. Spam, spam, spam. And when in Osaka, visit Gamera Land. Wow, Tokyo Disneyland sucks. There's Nothing World and Parking World and uh, Wet World and uh, Dumb World. Well, I sure hope Sandy Frank gets a burial at sea. Oh, he is a member of the Neptune yep. Society. Oh, wait, realize. it's not over yet. What? It says the end. Yeah, I know, but we got to sit and see the stupid Sandy Frank Productions. Thing. What? I don't Let's see. Take a look. Ah, you see what I mean? Oh, no. no, okay, Good. let's go. Oh, boy. Thanks. <laughs> Finish the experiment, everybody, and we feel like singing. Hot patootie. Boy, for Lord. Three-fisted hot buttered Bob. And each yeah. one of us has yeah. decided to do our version of the Gamera theme song in a separate style. I've elected to do mine in the version of that famous Rastafarian chart buster, Ika Mouse. <laughs> Hot the camera, but ding and ding and ding, bang the camera, ding and ding and ding and ding. Oh, bro, the camera is really neat. Ding and um, the camera is full of meat. Ding and ding and ding and ding and ding. Uh, thank you, Joel. I'll say that was really, really right. neat. Let's hear it for Joel. Now then, right. I've chosen a little hipper, that is to say, hipper groove to lay down in. Camp up, make it cool for me. Night bleeds out into the Tokyo streets and Gamera shakes his tail at a Ginzo Bistro with eyes like baby moons. He lights up a skyscraper like a Chesterfield and strolls, singing, Gamera, Gamera. You're a nickel, baby, you're full of meat, Bubba, do you don't bow? You bought as neat as a cheap seat in the midnight peep show where all the old hey, man are Tom. Oh, sorry. Crow, take it. Bustin' moves on monsters and he fights for good. He's gotta be about the biggest turtle in the hood. I said Gamera, Tempo. he's really neat. I'm talking Gamera, he's a oh, really me. neat full of meat and just about don't walk behind him because when he squats in the street, oh, hey, he's really oh, up. Hey, come oh, on, what? Crow. 
<laughs> you know, being with you guys, I feel like Dave Seville with the chipmunks or something. Hey, Gypsy, you ready? No! Come on. Would you come here, you? Come on. I think hers is going to be self-evident once she starts. Okay. Go ahead. Come on. Go ahead. Go ahead. Like you're rehearsed. Okay, and we've decided then to do a really nice version all together. <clears throat> Camelot is really neat. Camelot is full of meat. We all love you. What do you think, sir? It's pretty sweet, huh? <laughs> I don't think so, Millie Vanilli. One, two, three, four! <laughs> I think we broke the control panel. <laughs> Big shot. Just who does he think he is? A huh? hotel manager, indeed. I showed him. Huh? <laughs>